Cooling towers are devices used to transfer heat or cool water for reuse. The basic operation is fairly simple. Hot water is pumped in from an outside source and sprayed into the tower. The hot water flows over what is called the fill. This spreads the water over a larger surface to allow for more cooling. Cool air flows over the fill which transfers more heat through evaporation. The heat exits the tower and the now cooler water gathers in the basin. This cooler water is then pumped back into the system to be used again. Cooling towers are just one part of a cooling system. In this lesson we will cover the basic process of how a cooling tower works, define the components and describe their purposes. And we'll also cover some common terminology that is used when discussing cooling towers. Within a cooling tower, you will see the use of plastic or wooden slats. These are called fill and are used to direct the flow. The purpose of this is to increase the area of contact between the hot water and the cooler air. There are two types of heat loss that occur in this process sensible heat loss and evaporation. Sensible heat is what can be felt or measured. Evaporation accounts for the majority of the heat transfer and is the most critical aspect of the entire process. Many factors can affect the efficiency of the evaporation in a cooling tower. Things such as relative humidity, outside temperature, and wind velocity can affect the efficiency. Even the design of the tower, water contamination, and outside equipment will also play a part. Cooling towers are classified by how airflow is produced. This allows them to be broken down into two categories, atmospheric and mechanical draft. These two will be covered in detail in a separate video, but for now